Another Sunday on Gospel On Demand. I'm your host, Gospel Mellow. How's everybody's on Sunday? We good. <laughs> good Sunday. The last day. I'm gonna let y'all introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Rochelle Coleman, owner of Rochelle Athletic Consulting, basketball company in oh. the DC area. All right. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, brother Calvin, Minister Calvin Tucker from Baltimore, representing the male models, the gospel recording artist. Okay. Well, we're gonna start with Rochelle. Where is that shirt she gave me? She gave me a nice shirt. Rochelle Athletic Consultant Basketball Camp. So when did it start? Uh, it established my uh, company in 2008, but I've been teaching basketball. I've been part of the game since I was six. I started teaching kids how to place 11 years ago mm -hmm. and established my company in 2008. Okay. And what's the name of it? Uh, Rochelle Athletic saying? Consulting. Um, you can find the camps at RIC Basketball Development Camps. And our focus is on teaching kids the fundamentals and the correct way to play basketball. Uh, we're not there to create the me next Michael Jordan because if you don't have the fundamentals, they'll take you nowhere. And with the fundamentals, and we also teach life skills that will help them on and off the court. That's great. And so um, what age group? Like, is there a certain age that uh, you teach? Typically uh, 8 to 14, but I've, I've gone as young as 5. Uh -huh. um, I think the younger you can establish the fundamentals and uh, keep them from creating bad habits, yeah. <laughs> then the sooner the better. <laughs> I heard about um, bad habits. I think I had a saying go, but a person that don't know nothing is better off. It's easier to teach a person that don't know nothing rather than a person that has been doing something wrong. And I forgot the. It, it's it, it's easier when they have a blank slate and I say this is the correct way to do things, I don't have to fight with but such and such told me this, but I don't understand why I can't shoot straight or it's just a lot easier to establish good habits instead of trying to fix bad habits that they've been working on year after year after year. Oh, oh man, I can't remember that saying. <laughs> People say they work all the time. I can't remember. So on um, roughly, like how many kids do you like train and teach at one time? Well, throughout the year, it varies. Sometimes I have individual clients. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions as, small, as well as small groups. So I could have, like, this morning I had a couple of individual sessions. I also have clinics where it range from 10 to about 30 kids. And then summer camps, you can I can have as many as 60 at a, at a week. It just depends on the location. I have locations in Rockville and D.C. and I'm City, Tacoma Park. So it depends on the gym and where we are. Okay, so this is an all-year-round program. It's year-round. Year, some people just want one-on-one. -on -one. I want my son or daughter to work on this, so I focus on that. Or I, they can come to a clinic where it's like an hour and a half, one day a week thing. Oh. Or in the summer, we go weekly, and it just varies on location. So do you partner like with any schools or anything? Or so is that strictly... It, it's with my company, but um, like I'm working with the city of Tacoma Park on oh. July 1st. We'll have a camp there at Champions Field House in Rockville. I have two weeks. I have a spring break camp March 25th through the 29th, two summer camps uh, June 24th through the 29th, and then July 22nd through the 26th. And then I also um, have a camp at the Lowell School. It's right off of 16th Street in D.C., and that's uh, July 29th through August 2nd. And I work with the schools to help get kids, but it's local community, D.C. Um, area. That's where I'm from. I went to school in Montgomery County. I ended up playing co collegiately at Syracuse University and then overseas in Holland. Oh. So I understand that each level you need to do in order to be successful because I've been through it um, playing-wise, coaching-wise. I, I coached at Silver Rock University at Division II School in uh, Pennsylvania, and I'm also a high school coach. Oh, okay. So I, I can pretty much help anybody who's put in front of me. So you're currently recruiting. I don't recruit. I mean, that, oh, I, I for mean, my company, I would. I, I'm trying to get. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> help people. Some people come to me um, on a strictly basketball level. I want my child to improve on their skills. Others speak to me because they're like, my, my child has confidence issues. They get pushed around in school, but I know basketball is the one thing that you know builds them up. Can you help them with that? Um, yeah. So it, depending on the person, you know, the the route they take, I just use basketball as a means to help the, the child improve and thus help the community. Okay, fees, like, what are the fees that you charge? Fees, it depends. Um, 
uh, flat rate one-on-one -on -one session is 60 an hour uh, depending on the camp location I do a half day and a full day so some people only want their kids to come 9 to 12 those are usually about $150 and then uh, for a full week full day camp from 9 to 3 it's uh, about 250 it really depends on the location and you can go to the website or shop like consulting.com to see the different fees or you can um, um, go on Facebook or I see basketball or on Twitter and we can discuss it, but it, it depends on if you have a group that you wanted to have work out, the fees change. Oh, okay. Um, so it, it varies. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so you say the, the Facebook is RC? RAC basketball. basketball. Now I'm looking for you. I can't find you. I'm there. <laughs> now I looked up. Um, if you look up, Rochelle, you can either look up Rochelle and let it consult you, you can look up RAC basketball. Huh? Whichever is easiest for you. I can't find you. Dang. I'm gonna look for you too, for real, for real. Um. And, and the cool thing about my company, it, it's it's kind of moves around. I understand because I've played on so many different levels, it's enabled me to do. Like I've had clinics in Israel. I've also run clinics in uh, in Holland. So I understand basketball is a global sport, so anywhere it can bring communities together, it can bring different cultures together, and I, I try to express that just from my personal experience as, as well as the staff that I have to the to the children that we help teach the game to. That's great. I'm glad um, this, your program gave kids another, I mean, another choice, another opportunity rather than you know being on the streets and hanging in the streets and stuff. Or going to your local rec center, like rec centers, um, they're okay, but I, I I have a little a little small problem with them because you can't hide from I'm used to word world, you can't hide from the world or be, separate yourself from the world in a rec center because the same kids and the same problem kids that are in your neighborhood will be at the rec center. So that's why I try to get people, kids, and like programs like this, or within the church. I don't know. That's just, <laughs> it just, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about these kids. <laughs> I think uh, many times it's children at times aren't understood correctly or don't know how to express themselves correctly. And that's something I stress in my program. Communication is a big thing, um, especially now in the age of Twitter and, and Facebook. People don't speak in complete sentences or are able to express themselves. So we teach how to, A, communicate with someone and also how to receive the information. And kids just from basketball go, okay, if it works here, let me try it in school. Let me try it outside. So it, even though I'm teaching a game, there is more going on that um, can help them off the court. Yeah, that's why it's great. <laughs> and that's why your program should never end. <laughs> Hopefully. So, um, that's just not the thing. I had a question right here. So it's just you right now, or like how many teachers, trainers do you have? It depends. I, choose, I keep a one to ten ratio. Okay. Um, so kids can get individual attention they need. If it's a one on one situation, it'll be me or other people I have on staff. And camps, I try to keep it small. That way, no one gets lost in the shuffle. Yeah. And everyone, because every kid's different. Everything is. Uh, some kids have a certain skill set, and I can separate them within the camp and not let them feel um, left out. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep a small ratio with uh, staff to children. Oh, that's good. You should put some of your kids. So, next time. <laughs> What's your website again? Rochelle. It's uh, RochelleAthleticConsulting.com. Sorry, I was, I don't know why I didn't ask you for it before the show. Rochelle Athletic Consulting.com. Bro Calvin in the house. Yes, sir. So <laughs> quiet, you listening? Yes, yes, playing my position. <laughs> <laughs> It sucks. It happens. It's okay. It sucks. Please turn it off. I'll see what I'm saying. What do you call in to the show? If somebody want to call in, they can call at 
202-292-0072. Any questions about Rochelle program? And I'm honored that she came. I thought she was going to stand me up. I would never do that. I'm a <laughs> professional. Professional. Yeah, yeah. Profession yes, she was here early. Mm -hmm. Early is on time. Early. <laughs> early is on time. Early is on time. Mm -hmm. yeah, you need to teach me. <laughs> yeah, you, if you're late, you might miss out on something. Yep. <laughs> so, Bill Calvin. Yes, sir. Gave me a CD. Can I get an intro? Yes, sir. How did you come up with that title? Pretty much, um, God has commissioned me to the Ministry of Performing Arts. And so, uh, since I was young, and even my uh, two sisters, my family, we grew up in a family of performers. And so once um, we gave our life to Christ, you know, nothing changed about what we did. Our focus shifted. Yeah. And so it became...